Hello my beautiful loves, mis hermosos amores. Welcome back to this channel, your channel. My name is Aleimi Tames and today we are going to be asking to the tarot their feelings and thoughts towards you right now on this precise moment on this present moment okay so we're going to be checking your special someone feelings and thoughts towards you in this present moment okay so we're going to tr i'm trying to to go as deep as possible on this one but yes so before starting don't forget to give a thumbs up to the video subscribe activate the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos, go to the description box. There you can find the link to my Instagram and WhatsApp where you can contact me for personal readings. Also remember that I'm doing every Sunday a free ritual on my Instagram page, only on Instagram. So if you want to participate, go and follow me on Instagram. It's going to be amazing to have you over there, okay? And well, also, if this helps you and you want to return something, uh, you can also find the donation links on the description box. And what else? Let me remind you that these are um, our general readings. So all the reading can resonate to your situation, can resonate just a few messages, and cannot resonate at all. If it doesn't resonate, choose another pile or go watch another video, okay? You can choose as many piles as you desire or you feel called to. If you feel called to listen to, to one, then one. Or if you uh, feel called to two uh, piles, then choose two. And if you want to listen the three piles, go ahead, okay? Um what else i really hope from the bottom of my heart this can give you some uh, help clarity and i can help you in one way or another okay so this is number one number two number three okay the white aura quartz is number one the pink aura quartz is number two and the purple aura quartz is number three so I'm going to give you some seconds to choose one or pause the video if you need more time, okay? So I'm going to start moving them. So I'm going to start moving the piles. And let's start with this reading, my hermoso amor. Let's see. What is your person feelings and thoughts towards you? What is this special someone? Ah thinking and feeling <laughs> so we're going to start with number one i'm going to be putting it right here okay so let's start let's see come on help me there i'm going to put these ones right here so let's start the feelings and thoughts towards you right now present time so let's see what's going on on their mind and on their feelings right their thoughts and feelings towards you right now. It's here. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Dead card, and we have the Fool. Okay? So, let's see. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Star on the upright. And we have the Knight of Cups on the upright. Okay? Okay? At the oh my goodness you know what when i was pre-shuffling this card jumped like three times so i suppose it was meant to be on number on option number one uh white aura quartz right so this one have an important message here the ace of roads or ace of um yes the ace of roads it's called on the starboard Let's get two cards from the angels or archangels, right? And let's see what's going on here. So it's this one. We have 
gift from oh my goodness okay this one jumped to like three times actually these two cars the ace of roads and this one were like jumping 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 and i was like maybe i should put them together but then because it's a you know it's like a video for youtube i was like you know what i'm just going to, to keep shuffling and put everything together and uh maybe the i mean i wasn't expecting to come the the ace of roads and this one together you know so maybe i should put these two together here because these two were jumping a lot you know so let me see i'm going to put them right here and i'm going to give you another uh angel's card patience archangel jofiel your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize still they need nurturing and patience okay so this is the card so i'm going to put it right there and at the bottom we have remember who you are okay so let's see let's start with this reading and let's see what's going on here i'm going to just put them a little bit more up so you can see them all okay i'm going to put these two right here and this one right here okay so on their feelings okay they feel like let me see feelings and thoughts towards you first of all i want to start with these two cards okay with these two cards because like i say they were jumping a lot spe specifically these two together and like i said it's really funny how they came up together on the um on the same reading but i'm going to start with this gift from god archangel sandapon we angels bring you gifts from your creator open your arms to receive an ace of roads okay as we know aces are always opportunities new big not really like new beginnings but a new opportunity coming to your life you know uh an opportunity of something coming to to realization so what i'm seeing here is that is this is this is a connection that is going through a, a major changes you know also we have that and it's going the, the and also like i just noticed from six cards we have one two three major arcanas okay so it's an important uh message here like this this connection is going through a lot of strong transformations you know is something now what i'm channeling here is not that this relationship or this connection it's over or is like it's not even close to an end because i have that on the reverse with the star on the upright so what I'm seeing here is that is uh, this connection is going through a major changes, okay? A major changes, changes for a new beginning, okay? We have the full, which also talks about new beginnings, ace of roads, gift from God, okay? And patience also. So here is like a really strong manifestation power from your person from you and also i'm channeling uh angels universe or whatever you believe in help on this connection you know like it's it's moving a lot energetically on this connection this connection is like a really strong connection a very important connection that it feels like needs to come to reality like you too need if you are separated need to come to union you know and if you are not separated but you two are like not together i mean it's the same right but it's got like take it take it to to, to your situation you know but here both of you need to come together either on a romantic relationship either as a teamwork either as i don't know it's going to depend from situation to situation i don't know what you look your specifically situation is but whatever you're looking for i see love mostly like romantic relationships mostly 
So this connection really needs to come to to reality. Um, when we think about this, you know, sometimes we think it's not like you know when 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 you think about it like from a higher perspective, you can be like, what a romantic relationship can do to this world that is so important for for angels and universe to come to to union right here is a thing like sometimes you two maybe need to have like a kid together that is going to be someone important you know like a a kid a, a baby that as this baby grew, grow up is going to be some someone really important on this world or on that generation from you and this person you know but also can be you and this person the ones that need like together can make a lot of changes you know so that's why sometimes romantic relationships are so important for angels and universe and whatever you believe in to come together right and also as example maybe you two are a great example of a couple for others you know for others to to follow your your example with this person so it can be that too because i don't know why i channel this it has like it, it feels like i have nothing to do with this but i i channel that like maybe someone watching this video was asking that whatever who you are there's your answer but yes like you two need to come together you two uh are a strong couple a strong um uh romantic relationship this is coming to this is coming to to a union this is coming to a realization this is going to happen okay so right now oh uh, i'm going to tell you what on the past on the past you and this person were not putting the effort okay either you either your person were like trying to escape from this connection or trying to run from this connection not wanting to face this connection so either you or your person or both of you have been like having these feelings for the other really strong uh romantic feelings sexual feelings intimate feelings and just not facing this and trying to escape from this but what happens that here universe angels or whatever you believe in make radical changes so this can um come to reality right this can come to fruition also i'm do channel here a really strong manifestation power so either you are trying to manifest this person on your life or this person is trying to manifest you on their life or both of you right whoever is trying to manifest the other have a really really strong manifestation power and it's even stronger if both of you are trying to manifest each other okay even stronger because then it's not just one trying to, to manifest the other one is both of you wanting each one trying you know to manifest this other person so i do channel manifestation power here too like really really strong now here angels are telling you you need patience your manifestation already came to fruition is the word let me see it already bloomed okay but you still need to nurture this uh manifestation you have made to the universe okay so it's already there you need to have patience and keep working on your manifestation okay from your heart chakra with love remember we have to manifest with love and this is already there you know this manifestation or whatever you want with this person is almost knocking your door almost not yet but almost okay so it's kind of interesting that i'm getting this on their feelings and thoughts i wonder if this person knows that can be maybe you're asking about a, about a witchy person 
maybe someone who also reads Starbot or maybe you do. But this is curious, right? Maybe this person already knows this, you know? Um, can be. So now, for the future, what I see is that is going, this connection is going to have a new fresh start beginning. It's going to start with the right, in, in the right way, with the right food, okay, and with a lot of love. Also with a lot more, more movement because it feels that in the past, this connection or relationship was really stuck. That's why major changes have made. So maybe you are in separation with this person. Maybe something happened and you started to enter, you know, this anxious energy. Here your angels are telling you trust. Trust because this is almost knocking your door. Don't lose faith, uh, faith hope. Uh, keep doing your manifestation work. Keep doing whatever you have been doing to manifest this and don't lose hope because this is already happening. These changes were needed for this new start, for getting out of this, you know, uh, stuck past situation. So maybe here was a cut. Maybe here something happened or maybe uh, you blocked your person or your person blocked you or uh, your person moved to another city. I, I don't know. But here something happened that cut this past situation so can come with a new beginning. Okay. Now, I do have mostly fast cards, you know, not really that fast, but not that slow. Also, this is not like fast cards, but I do get fast movement, you know. So maybe on the 3D is not going to show to your door that fast, but energ energetically, it's a lot of movement on this connection, like it's moving a lot and super fast. So energetically talking, you know, like on the 5D. But 3D is going to take a lot longer to to come to to blooming, you know. But yes, what and I keep wonder I, I because I keep talking about this. I think most of the people who choose this pile is asking for a witch, tarot reader, for a something. I really think the person you're asking about knows this and this is what this person is feeling and thinking, what I just explained you. You know, so can be that for some, for some and for others, um, what this person is thinking and feeling is that they want, you know, on their mind, they're like, I want, I, I want to, I don't want to leave this connection. I don't want this to be over. So this person is willing to change certain stuff. So can come in a healthy way right this connection can can bloom on a healthy way um also this person have a really strong faith let me tell you this is a person with a strong faith the one you're asking about or can be you but i mean it's really interesting because <laughs> i mean ah it's really, really interesting. Let me know in the comments who you are because I'm, you know, I'm triggered by, by, by this. So yes, 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 this is going to, this person, it's coming back to your life. Okay, so what they, I, I really want to tell you what is this person feeling and thinking and he keeps telling me what is going to happen on this connection. So I keep wondering if this person knows what is going to happen already. But I mean, this person, <laughs> this person thinks that this connection have been like really hard, you know, to, to deal with. This person thinks that you two have a try really hard from different perspectives to make this happen. This person you're asking about knows that 
you have tried to make this connection survive and this person also have tried to make this connection survive you know and they think this and they really really think a lot about this this person also thinks a lot about the ending ending of this connection right because i do not see an ending i just see a transformation here like in a, a new beginning but this person thinks about the ending a lot in the, that they feel like this person feels kind of like free with you is what i'm getting like you make this person this person's spirit feel free okay is what i'm getting here so also what they have been feeling is that they had an offer for you and they didn't offer it you know like this person on their feelings is like why in the moment i didn't offer this to my person to my hermoso amor and now that it's over i cannot offer it anymore you know also this person is thinking about that this person had an offer for you on the past that they didn't offer it to you and also this person um this person keeps the faith that is going to be a comeback you know that's why i do really think this person kind of knows what i told you but um this person has like a really big hope or faith that is going to come a new opportunity and when this new opportunity comes this person is thinking on offering you what they didn't offer on the past but way better you know like way better than it was before also have on mind that if you are a masculine asking for a feminine um i do channel if you're asking for a feminine the feminine is not going to offer anything the feminine is going to wait for you to offer something okay and if you are feminine asking for a masculine then what i just say this person had an offer on the past and they're waiting for the comeback of this connection so they can offer it on a better way but if you're masculine asking for a feminine this feminine is not going to offer you anything this feminine is waiting for you to offer something and this feminine knows you want to offer something okay so there uh just to leave that clear right i don't want to get people confused like i don't want men to be expecting that this feminine is going to come and offer you when actually the feminine is waiting for the masculine uh, to offer and the masculines are wanting to offer something okay so that here so yes just to to let that clear um yes this is coming to this is something is going to to happen also i do see sexual encounters here and be careful with pregnancies okay you because i used the channel at the first when i started the reading i did channel a baby and i i am channeling again so i do see a sexual encounter with this person or intimacy sexual intimacy be careful with babies if you don't want a baby use protection okay so that really strong for number one okay so i hope that was that was helpful okay and i'm going to show you the cards so thumbs up subscribe activate the bell button and go check the description box there you can find the link to my instagram and whatsapp where i do personal readings and also remember that every sunday i do a free ritual on my on my instagram page so go and follow me on instagram if you want to participate on this free ritual and uh, if this was helpful you can always give something back the donation links are on the description box too and yes i hope you like it i hope that this was uh helpful for you let me know what you think on the comments let me know if you want me to ask 
something to the tarot, what you think, you know, leave me your comment. So, yes, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day, an amazing, amazing day. And, well, be good, and if you're going to be bad, invite me. Bye-bye. <laughs> So we are going with numbers two. Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome. For the ones that choose number two, the pink out of cards. Okay, I'm going to be putting it right here so you can see it. So let's start with this reading and let's see their feelings and thoughts towards you, my hermoso amor. Let's see what's going on here. Like always, let me remind you, these are general readings, so you are going to have to adapt this reading to your situation, okay? Just to, to make sure that you know that. Let's see. One, two. Okay. Okay. Ah. The Ten of Swords. Okay, this person. <laughs> we have someone special here, like... A, not like, yes, a special, but someone... Let me see. I'm going to get you uh, the Angels cards and see what's going on here. Is this one. Beloved one, Archangel Chamuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So if you were asking yourself if you have, you know, if your, connect, your connection have angel protection, yes, the angels are protecting this connection, okay? So that as a confirmation, let's get another one. Is this one? Breathe. Arcángel Rafael. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns, okay? So this person you're asking about can be feeling, um, can be feeling that, you know, with not, I really feel like this person feels with not hope. Like, this person is hurt. Something is hurting this person on this connection, you know? Like, I don't know what happened between you and this person, but whatever happened, you know? I do channel like a fight, separation, no communication thing, ghosting kind of thing. I don't know what happened here, but I do channel like a problem here, you know? This person, you're asking about is hurt it's hurt it doesn't want to tell you what they are feeling okay they don't want to tell you their feelings they don't want to open up they're like closed right now although they're thinking about it you know like they uh, feel like they feel scared to open up confused to open up but also they are thinking to open up and talk to you what is hurting them on this connection maybe you my hermoso amor don't know what happened like you this person suddenly disappears on your life and you're like what i did wrong you know just let me tell you you didn't did anything wrong this person have pain from their past so this person is still healing uh, some pain on love relationships on their past. So now with you, they don't want to open up. They don't want to start feeling, you know, like they don't want to start feeling. They don't want to, to, to express love still yet, you know, like yet, because this person does have that love. This person really loves you but they you know what i'm listening that this person thinks that if they express their love to you they would lose control on the connection and they can they are giving you the power to hurt them 
and they don't want to be hurt again and even less if they haven't even healed, you know, from the past. So this person is really scared to show you their emotions. This person is confused also, like, because, you know, they're confused because they don't know how they end up in love with you or feeling this, what they are feeling for you, which is love can be different types of love, but it's love, you know? But this is what this person is feeling uh, and, and, and thinking, right? Also, what I do notice is that this person does have a really strong sex, sexual attraction to you, and this person may be thinking on confessing, like I said, they kind of want to, but also they don't because they don't want to be hurt and they are not sure how much they can trust you, you know. For now, this person feels like they are going to keep closing off, although sometimes on their mind they have this radical thinking of should I express what I feel and they get like, this thinking and then they're like no 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 it's better if i wait you know so keep treating this person with love keep having patience with this person if you are interested in this person right if you want this connection you're going to have patience with this person if you don't want this connection then let it go because this person is not opening up so soon, you know. It's going to be a very slow process here. I see like a very slow process. So, so you are going to have to have a lot of patience. Breathe, you know, like relax, chill out. So a lot of patience on this connection because this person is scared. This person is scared. I think this person does find you really attractive. This person does have a sexual attraction towards you. They really like you, but they don't trust just yet, you know? So this is what your person is feeling and thinking, you know? They have all these mixed feelings. And like I said, they are thinking that they don't want to be hurt again. So it's what I'm seeing here mostly. So, yes, this for number two. I'm going to show you the cards. So, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, activate the bell button, go to the description box. There you can find the links to my Instagram and WhatsApp where you can contact me for personal readings. And also remember that every Sunday I do a free ritual on Instagram. So, if you want to participate on this free ritual, uh go and follow me on instagram okay and uh, it's on the description box also if this was helpful you can always donate as a return on something you know and you can find the links for donations on the description box also leave me your comment let me know what you think how you feel uh if this resonates with you and yes i hope you like it I hope it was helpful, okay? And yes, so there are the cards. So be good, and if you're going to be bad, invite me. Bye-bye. <laughs> and we are going with the last one. Let's see. Whoop. Here we go, last one, number three, okay? the purple aura quartz and I'm going to be putting it right here so hello my beautiful loves my, my hermosos amores we are going to be seeing their feelings and thoughts towards you right now okay let's see what is going on this person this special someone feelings and thoughts towards you right now so let's see, we have two of cups on the reverse, we have the high priestess on the reverse, and we have queen of cups on the reverse, okay. We have the eight of cups, 
we have the eight. I think this is the nine. I'm sorry, the nine. I always confuse this one with, with the eight. The nine of swords and the page of roads. Okay. At the bottom, we have eight of wands on the reverse. Okay. Another fight. All three of them seems like a kind of like a fight thing going on here. I'm going to, to, to get you your angels cards. Indigo and crystal children. Okay. And peace. Archangel Chamuel. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Okay. And the indigo and crystal children, Archangel Metatron, you have a bond with children in particular. You can help children who are sensitive, okay? And at the bottom, we have comfort, Archangel Azrael. I am with you in your time of need, helping you, your heart to heal. Okay, so what do I'm channeling here? Here was a fight, definitely. But you know what I see? I see someone talking. Okay, here is the thing. Here was someone talking about you to your person or about your person to you. But talking, you know, gossiping. I do channel that. So be careful with fake friends. You can have some fake friends around you. So just open your eye, you know, like be be receptive to see if something weird is going on. But you can have some fake friends around you or your person can be having some fake friends around them. And um, I do see bad talking. You know, but talking. And, okay, this is what I'm channeling. This is very 3D kind of thing. But <clears throat> it feels like your person, uh, because we're asking about your person, right? So it feels like your person had a meet with someone that is friend of yours or can be friend of, of your person, right? And... Your person, uh, your per let's call your person's friend, okay? So your person meet with a friend and this friend tell your person like started talking really bad about you, started a gossiping thing, which makes your person really, really think about this connection. They started like second guessing this connection and actually start thinking that you maybe maybe you're not what they thought you were you know like because your person have you on a very high perspective but after this gossiping thing your person started second guessing who you really are okay so i really feel like your person decided to go away now here is a trick it's a trick here your person did this, okay, to test you. I really think if you are a feminine, I really think like someone told your person that you were someone who have had a lot of uh, romantic partners or that you are like an easy person to take to bed, you know. Like, don't take it against me. Um, this is what uh, angels tarot cards are saying not me so do not take this against me this is what I'm just channeling so just to disclaimer there okay but like it's, it's what I'm channeling you know like that your person were told that you are like easy to take to bed so your person is testing you your person decided to move away to to ghost you you know to see to test you if you are going to find someone else fast you know 
So this is a test of your person. This is what they're thinking and feeling. This test have them really anxious because they are expecting you are not what this person tell your person or what, what the gossip was about. So your person really wants to wants you to not be like like this gossip. So they are testing you to see to see how you act and react if you like forget about them fast and move on fast, you know? Now I want to here is like something I want to talk like away from the cars a bit of thinking of me you know so you know I think I I don't really think that um, this easy woman thing are so past you know like they're so old so grandpa grandma think I do think that now um because now here if you were in a relationship with this person or you are in a relationship with this person and this person goes goes you you need like this person needs to understand that you cannot stop your life if they ghost you and they move on from you without reason you know without giving you an explanation they cannot expect you to be waiting for them you know this is so freaking dumb like they cannot expect that they, like you know what i'm saying so i don't know what kind of mentality like if this resonates to you maybe you want to think if you want to be with this person because this is a type of mentality that to me don't make sense they cannot expect you to be waiting for them or to stop your life without knowing what happened to them you know so use a point of view of mine you know my point of view and also if you are not in a relationship with with this person and this person is testing you to see if you are easy i mean come on you are single and they're single you know sometimes because uh you're a feminine or a woman men expect that they can get in bed with everyone because they're single but a feminine woman cannot you know what i'm saying like it's not like that it should not be like that they cannot expect cannot expect that if they don't want you with no one else on bed then they need to to make a move towards you you know and if they're testing you like trying to test you to see if you're easy like they can also not expect you to be waiting for them when they didn't give you any explanation of why they disappear you know what i'm saying just a bit of my thinking you know so try to have that this in mind if if serves you there it is and if not just let it go you know but this is what i'm channeling for from the cards so this person is kind of testing you right now they're going through a lot of anxious moments and because they want to you know this is their their they choose this so i mean <laughs> that's why they're going through a lot of anxious moments like they're really anxious try to be on peace with yourself okay try to be on peace with yourself don't let gossiping disrupt your energy and keep doing your life you know and if you feel like it's better for you to move on from this connection or even this circle of friends move on don't stay there because it seems really toxic you know like you, you're saying like it it feels toxic so to have that on mind okay i'm going to show you the cards so don't forget to give it thumbs up subscribe uh activate the bell button and go to the description box there you can find the links to my instagram and whatsapp where you can uh, contact me for a personal reading if you want one also remember that um if you feel like this have helped you you can always give something back the donation links are on the description box too if you want to give something back 
and also the link to my other YouTube channel, which is Tarot Readings, but in Spanish. So if you know Spanish or you're trying to learn Spanish, go and follow me on my other uh, YouTube channel. And I think that's it. Leave me your comment. Let me know what you think, how you feel about this. You may be feeling some way with this reading. I'm feeling some type of way. <laughs> so I support you. So yes, leave me on the comments what you think. And yes, I hope you like it. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And be good. And if you're going to be bad, invite me. Bye-bye. <laughs>